Yes, sir! What's up, MDB fam? What's up, Raptors fans? We're talking about Masai Ujiri's five best moves. At least his five best trades, not his moves in general. I'm reacting to an article I found on online where an author compiled Masai Ujiri's five best trades since he's been with the Raptors. He's been with the Raptors for about eight seasons now. By far one of the best GMs we've ever had. Definitely the best GM we've ever had. He's one of the best GMs in the league in general. He's the type of guy like... Of the past 10 seasons, every team that he's GM'd has made it to the playoffs. So, shout out to Masai Ujiri, one of the best to ever do it. Seeing as he's entering the final year of his contract with the Raptors, and it's unclear right now whether or not he will re-sign with the Raptors, I decided I'd discuss his five best trades since he's been with the Raptors. Make sure you guys check out my other Masai Ujiri video. I put it up yesterday. It's about why Masai Ujiri needs to stay with the Raptors and why he's our biggest priority. But anyways, without any more delay, let's get into it. So the fifth the fifth of the five trades of Masai Ujiri's best trades is the Gravis Vasquez trade. So Masai Ujiri traded Gravis Vasquez to the Bucks in exchange for Norman Powell's draft rights and a protected first round pick. So in that, in that trade, we got rid of Gravis Vasquez, whose time with the Raptors had come to an end. Like he wasn't, it's not that he played bad. He played fine in the playoffs, but he just wasn't, really aligned with what the Raptors were trying to do. So we ended up trading him to the Bucks. The Bucks had interest in Gravis Vasquez for a while. They liked the way he played. We got Norman Powell in return. At that point in time, Norman Powell was unproven. He was drafted 46 in the second round. He was con kind of considered like a, a combo guard where he's too short to play the three. But at the two, he's not like his ball skills weren't good enough. As you guys know, now Norman Powell is one of the best players on our team. He's developed year over year over year over year and gotten better. Came from the G League all the way up to making the big team. He had such big moments like guarding Paul George in the playoffs, other stuff like that. But that's not even the best part of the trade. The best part of this trade is, yes, we traded Gravis Vasquez and got a Norman Powell. But we also got a protected first round pick that ultimately turned into none other than OG Ananobi. So... Not only did we get Norman Powell, we also got a pick that turned into OG Ananobi. That's a great trade. Shout out to Masai. That's his fifth best trade with the Raptors. Okay, so remember guys, this is not my opinion. This is a list that I found online. I'm just reacting to it. I think that was a good trade for Masai. I think that the fact that you could get OG Ananobi, regardless of how well Norman Powell developed, just the fact that we got OG Ananobi for Gravis Vasquez is already a winning trade. Then you throw in Norman Powell like, Come on, bro. That's obviously a dub. So we're going to go to the fourth best trade of Masai Ujiri, and that's trading Terrence Ross and a, and a first-round pick to the Magic in exchange for Serge Ibaka. So the Magic, they get Terrence Ross, who actually, after we traded him, he tore out his knee and he missed the rest of the season. And with that first pick, they drafted some guy who I've never even heard of, some guy named Anzej Pasanix. Like, who the fuck is that? Do you guys know who that is? So the Magic got Terrence Ross and Anzej Pasanix. And the Raptors got Serge Ibaka. At the point in time when the trade took place, a lot of people in the media were saying it was a bad trade for the Raptors because Serge Ibaka was just going to be a rental for us. I think he had about one more year left on his contract. So a lot of people in the media were saying, oh, okay, so you guys gave up Terrence Ross and his future potential in exchange for Serge Ibaka, who's only going to stay with you for one year. But contrary to their belief, we actually re-signed Ibaka, and he was a great fixture and one of the main reasons why we won a championship in 2019 so shout out Masai that was another great tra trade you took a chance on moving for Abaka without knowing whether or not we'd be able to re-sign him thankfully we were able to re-sign him and he became one of the Raptors fan favorites for the past few years as you guys know Abaka is now with the Clippers rejoining Kawhi so wishing him all the best hopefully you have a good season with Kawhi out there we're gonna miss you over here in Toronto bro moving on to the third best trade by Masai Ujiri so the Knicks get Andrea Bargnani and the Raptors get Steve Novak, Marcus Camby, Quentin Richardson, two second round picks and a first round pick. That first round pick would ultimately become Jakob Pertl. This is a big trade for Masai Ujiri because as you guys know, Jakob Pertl would eventually get used in another trade in the future that would ultimately lead the Raptors to winning their championship. So we'll cover that trade in the next few trades, but Jakob Pertl for Bargnani is a really big trade. Yes, we got Novak, Camby, Quentin Richardson, but all those guys, they didn't really pan out for the Raptors. Yes, Steve Novak had some moments, 
Marcus Camby originally started with the Raptors, so it was cool kind of to bring him back. But most of these guys were towards the end of their career, so it wasn't really too big. The main thing was we got Jakob Pertl, who we ended up using in a deal, which I'm going to mention in the future. So that was another good trade. We got rid of Bargnani, Primo Pasta Bargnani. We're not going to miss him as Raptors fans. I dropped my light. I'm going to pick it up. Give me a sec. My fucking light. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the second best Masai Ujiri trade, which was trading Rudy Gay, Aaron Gray, and Quincy Acey in exchange for John Salmons, Patrick Patterson, Chuck Hayes, and Gravis Vasquez. So this trade on the, on the top, like on the front, like, on the surface, that's what I'm trying to say. This trade on the surface may look like a lost trade because we gave up Rudy Gay and we didn't really give up, get anything in return. But when I break it down like this, I think you'll understand why this is a good trade for Messiah. So the Raptors got John Salmons, who ultimately they ended up using in a trade which gave us Lou Williams, who became sixth man of the year for us. So that was a good trade because we got John Salmons and we traded him for Lou Will, who became sixth man of the year. You guys all know that song, Six Man by Drake. Six Man like Lou Will. I done got the new deal. Y'all know that song. Lou Will was great for the Raptors for a bit. He definitely came in and gave us that extra little scoring punch when we we're still kind of figuring things out as a culture and as a team. So we got Lou Will. We got Patrick Patterson in the deal. He played for several years with the Raptors. Um, obviously, Patrick Patterson is not the best player, but at that point in time, we were playing guys like Amir Johnson. So... The Raptors weren't like the top tier team that we know them to be now. So at that point in time, Patrick Patterson served a great role for us. He was able to do things when we needed him. He came up clutch in one game against Brooklyn. Can't remember if he hit a game winner or something, but I remember he did have one clutch game for the Raptors against Brooklyn. I just don't remember what exactly he did. So shout out Patrick Patterson. So we got Lou Will, we got Patrick Patterson, we got Chuck Hayes. Chuck Hayes, there's not really much to say about Chuck Hayes, an undersized center. Didn't really do much for the Raptors. He came in, contributed some good minutes, but nothing really noteworthy. And then, of course, we got Gravis Vasquez, who I mentioned before led to us getting Norman Powell and OG Ananobi. So in exchange for Rudy Gay, Aaron Gray, and Quincy Acey, we got Lou Will, Norman Powell, OG Ananobi, and Patrick Patterson. It's not a bad way to look at it. It's a pretty good trade. That's the second best trade. Now we're going to go to the number one trade, Masai Ujiri's best trades. Everyone knows what this trade is. I honestly shouldn't even have to say it. If you're a Raptors fan and you don't know what Masai Ujiri's best trade is, just, just hang up your fucking dino claws. Like, hang up your Jurassic Park. Like, you, you, you're not a Raptors fan. Masai Ujiri's number one trade is getting Kawhi Leonard and Danny Green in exchange for DeMar DeRozan, Jakob Pertl, and a first-round pick. So this trade was ultimately very huge for the Raptors because, as you guys know, getting Kawhi Leonard and Danny Green ultimately led to us winning the championship in 2019. Huge moment for Raptors fans in Raptors history. I remember I watched the game. I watched our championship winning game. I was at a bar downtown. After we won the game, me and all my friends went down to Young and Dundas, and it was just straight pandemonium. People standing on top of bus shelters, standing on top of police cars, people going crazy in the square. No one got arrested, just people out happy, fireworks, people screaming, honking their horns. It was just, it was just a great moment in Toronto history, great moment in Canadian basketball history. That wasn't just a chip for Toronto, it was a chip for all of Canada. Just a great moment. So thank you, Masai, for all these great trades, bro. Hopefully the Raptors can work out a deal with you to keep you on the team for the near-term future or the long-term future. But even if we do lose you, I appreciate everything that we had with you. So anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. Those are Masai Ujiri's five best trades. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. We do new NBA videos every week. Have a good day, boys. Peace.